Back to the matter of Sue. Yeah. Sir, are you aware that he attended a PPP fundraiser at Fresh Coin Diamond last Saturday evening where he was transported by the Speaker of the House, Mr. Nancy Madir, and he would have also sat at a table that Mr. Mans Renier, also oh, the big, really? um, Minister Vikram Barrett, and, and Mr. Clement Rowe, he was present? But for X period to Y period, police will not be in line as a result of public events like concerts and so on. That is the press release. Yeah, they will not be in line for that. Uh, no, I'm just Why trying to get it out. So I'm, I'm just trying to get it out. So in Jack Dio's press conference, she's trying to misinform the public. I'm just trying to get it out. To start with, enlightenment of East Coast and Georgetown police cannot take place without the knowledge of the C Division Commander, Parish Ram. You right. welcome. You bought the ticket? I did, I, yes. So you can't say Pope Joe even. And okay, and you, you're not worried that you wouldn't get a cash grant like the other man who supported her? No, the cash grant isn't my issue. Right. And dishonesty is at the heart of that press release. Immediately after we discussed it on the program, the instructions were, do not discuss enlightenment on the police radio sets. Welcome back to the flight. Hit that subscription button, buddy, and stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora. Thanks. Here it is. Sir, are you aware that he attended a PPP fundraiser at Fresh Coin Diamond last Saturday evening where he was transported by the Speaker of the House, Mr. Nancy Madir, and he would have also sat at a table that Mr. Mans Renier, also oh, the big, really? um, Minister Vikram Barrett. Look at Jagdew's facial expression, not one of confusion. Oh, really? These people don't even know to read in to people's facial. Something in journalism you had because you're questioning why they do the, why they do this. Listen to this. Where he was transported by this people. And a bit more. Yes. Here it is. Go on. You wanna? Um, just one more thing, Doctor Jack Deal. Um, coming back to the matter of Sue. Sir, are you aware that he attended a PPP fundraiser at Fresh Coin Diamond last Saturday evening where he was transported by the Speaker of the House, Mr. Nancy Madir, and he would have also sat at a table that Mr. Mans Renier, also oh, the big, really? um, Minister Vikram Barrett, and, and Mr. Clement Rowe, he was present? No, I'm not aware of that. You should ask Mans Renier then that question. How would I know that? To ask Vikram Barrett and Mans Renier what they were doing with him. You asked them that. Uh, no, I'm just Why trying to get it out. Here? So I was not aware. I was not aware. No, Jack Dio did not pay attention to what she was saying. Hear what she said. Listen again. How would I know that? To ask Vikram Barrett and Mansoor Nadir what they were doing with him. You asked them that. Uh, no, I'm just Why trying to get it out. So I'm, I'm just trying to get it out. So in Jack Dio's press conference, she's trying to misinform the public. I'm just trying to get it out. Not I'm trying to get clarity from you. If you come, get clarity. Jack Dio says, ask Vikram Barat, a minister that they could have called. Ask the Speaker of the House, a man that they can call. Kaicho News doesn't see the call. Ask Clement Rohi, a politician that would love to talk. Then I ask Salado, bear in mind she's verifying, this girl is verifying, you will hear her now verify that she saw, she was there and saw Sue. This is when you got little excited reporters and Glenn Lal just fueling the scunt of anything for make a front page. That is where mistakes are made. When you lost track of what journalism is, what good journalistic practices mean, and everybody just in a race for the front page story, Dunga Kaichur. Listen to this. I was not aware. I was not aware. Glenn Lyle was there too. 
at a BBB fundraiser? No, I was. Okay, you were. So she were there. She verified that she was there. She saw Sue. Yes, okay. I was. All right. Okay, well then. Because I'm, good. I'm not. So it was an open event. Okay. No, no, we, we, we got a, we, I got tickets. It was a fundraising event for okay. your party. Well, thank, thank, thank you for attending and buying a ticket. I hope you buy it. You're welcome. 100% wild crafted sea moss from nature by natives. Why pay more? You're right. welcome. You bought the ticket? I just, I, yes. So you can't say Pope Joy And okay, and you, you're not worried that you wouldn't get a cash grant like the other man who supported her. No, the cash grant isn't my issue. Right. Anyhow, ask Bikram Barrett, call him and say, what were you doing there with the guy? And Mansoon at here, etc. And Clement Roy. You ask them, but I was not here. So you all hear the questions? Very straightforward what Jagdio told the reporter at Kaichon News to do. Got tickets. It was a fundraising event for your where he was to Let me go. In a manner that we are not happy with, but we're living with it. But we're we want to make sure that that no, I listen to this. At least we're getting a fair fair share of that deal. And a bit more. Yes, yes. Go on. You wanna um, just one more thing, Dr. Jack Deal. Um, coming back to the matter of Sue. Yeah. Sir, are you aware that he attended a PPP fundraiser at Fresh Coin Diamond last Saturday evening where he was transported by the Speaker of the House, Mr. Nansu Madir, and he would have also sat at a table that Mr. Mans Renier, also oh, the Vic, really? um, Minister Vikram Barrett, and, and Mr. Clement Rowe, he was present? No, I'm not aware of that. You should ask Mansu Nadir then that question. How would I know that? To ask Vikram Barrett and Mansoor Nadir what they were doing with him. You asked them that. Uh, no, I'm just trying to get it out. Me? So I was not aware. I was not aware. Glenn Lal was there too? At the BBP fundraiser? No, I was. Okay, you were? Okay. Yes, I was. All right. Okay, well then because that's I'm, I'm not. So it was an open event. Okay. No, no, we, we got a we, I got tickets. It was a fundraising event for okay. your party. Well, thank, thank, thank you for attending and buying a ticket. I hope you buy You're welcome. an event open. You're right. welcome. You bought the ticket? I just, I, yes. So you can't say Pope Joy event. And okay, and you, you're not worried that you wouldn't get a cash grant like the other man who supported her? No, the cash grant isn't my issue. Right. Anyhow, ask Vikram Barrett, call him and say, what were you doing there with the guy? And Mansoor Nadir, etc. And Clement Rowe, you ask them, but I was not here. So, that is the end of that? So, um, yes. Anyone else? Oh, thank you. That is the end of that. Right? Kaichor News award winning reporter. Now we're going to go back to Kaichor News front page. So this is the Kaicho News award-winning reporter who made this major discovery. It is for sanctions to be measured out to the Minister of Finance if he doesn't do certain things. So now this young lady went herself, by the way, to the fundraiser. Saw Sue. Saw that Sue was with Manzor Nadir. Saw that Sue was with Clement Rohi saw that Sue was with Vikram Barat, went to Jagdeo press conference, told him what she saw. Jagdeo told her, ask Vikram Barat, ask Manzur Nadir, ask Clement Rohi. Award-winning Kaicho News reporter went on to place this article on Kaicho News front page that become the center of interest of people like Smelly Smell. Right? If you know the question first, if you're finding Sue for serve, Sue and all kind of thing. Right? Kaicho News says Sue attend PPP fundraiser, but Jagdio claims has not seen him. One love. 
Delta 9 family. Welcome back to the flight. Now we're hearing people said that they see Sue. But did they see Sue? Did they see Sue she? Or did they see Sue Lee? You see, it's three different people right there, you know. There is Wang Sue, there is Sue she, and then there is Sue Lee. Which one of these Sue did you see? Because when she says she see Wang Su, she see the Wang Su. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> when she says she see Wang Su, she see the Wang Su. It's crazy. Yo, it's never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. There's always something entertaining going on in the beautiful country of Guyana. Always something entertaining. She see the Wang Su where she says she see Wang Su. You ever hear anything like that allegedly? It's crazy, but it might have been the right Sue, allegedly. And where is the real Sue? Guyana could be placed under sanctions. Guyana could find itself in all types of international hot water because of allegedly the things that was recorded and dealt with in Vice News. So we might find it as entertainment, we might find it as a situation that, oh, look what's going on in the country, this, that, and the third. But these things have far-reaching implications. Allegedly, that was the Wang Su. That was not Wang Su. That was in that fundraiser. But we got another conversation going on right now when it comes down to the cops and the cops being in line. The cops are not going to be in line for none of the shows coming up from the third going all the way allegedly to the seventh. And we know that this is the big Rick Ross show that's going on in Linden where Valiant is supposed to be featuring on and a number of other great artists that are supposed to be coming in Guyana. Now, anybody, drop a comment in the comment section. If you could remember a year where so many shows happen in one month in a one month span. Let me say within 30 days. Anybody, because I might forget or it might be something that I might not have um, been around for. So if you know of any time in GT from before, with so much artists performing a tour today span in GT, attacking international artists. Look how much shows they had as of recent and they still get this other big show coming up here. But right now we're hearing that the cops is not gonna be in line. So we gotta ask ourselves, how true is that? And is this just something to rattle the pockets and to rattle the hands of the ones that are involved in this big cash and money raising situation that's going on right now in Linden for the whole week because money running right now in Linden. Is this one of the ways to shake it up and make people say, look, the show there might not be safe, but they may know if I don't want to go to that show there. I may know if I want to put myself in a situation where there's no cops in lying in Linden. Me know about that. But allegedly, it ain't got nothing to do with that. Allegedly, it got something to do with something completely different. And Kadaki is going to tell us right now, he's going to tell us that, look, it might be something to do with one of the conversations that was had on the show. I spoke about police being in line for the PPP Congress. I spoke about police being in line for the PPP Congress. Standing guard over food for delegates. Escorting food for delegates. Transporting food for delegates. I spoke about those things. What happened immediately after? Y'all see what happened publicly. Y'all didn't see what happened privately. Well, let me tell you what happened publicly. I'll remind you what happened publicly. The police issued a press statement to say that for X period, I think from the 7th, did they say from the 7th? Um, but for X period to Y period, police will not be in line as a result of public events like concerts and so on. That is the press release. Yeah, they will not be in line for that, but they are in line for Congress. They are in line for Congress. The Guyana Police Force says that it will not be in line for any concerts or any other activities during the period 
the third to the seventh. Okay. I think they got um yes, the third to the seventh. Well, let me tell you. Whoever gave Travis Chase this assurance or this information from the Ghana police force, they're dishonest. Because Congress started on the first and the police have been in line. From the day before. And later is the first. And police are still in line. Congress finishes on the fifth. And maybe that is when they will stop being in line. That is what is the fact. Like I said, the public statement did not reveal what happened behind in the back channels, as we like to see. Well, let me tell you what happened. Instructions were immediately passed that no instruction for alignment or no discussion of alignment should take place on the police radio set. You know the police got radio sets where they transmit instructions from and to each other? Yes. Having spoken about police being in line for the Congress and the misuse of the nation's resources, instructions were passed immediately. Do not discuss police alignment on the radio sets. Use telephones. Use telephones. And I can tell you, I can call some names. Of the senior police ranks who are involved and know about the enlightenment enlightenment to start with enlightenment of east coast and georgetown police cannot take place without the knowledge of the c division commander parish ramp he's up front and personal team is who let us refer to as bravo and thunder in the police ranking policemen know that let policemen tell you who is bravo and who is thunder Even as we speak, policemen are in line. Even as I talk to you, I know of ration being supplied for them to eat. And yes, that statement of alignment or non-alignment has nothing to do with the concerts and so on that will be held at Linden. The police has a duty to provide quote unquote police protection or protective services let me let me change the term law enforcement services when there are major events as part of getting permission for those major events the promoters have to apply to the police permission and they have to pay for police presence what they call extra duty police so I don't agree that the press release, the public statement has anything to do with these concerts, especially in Lenin and so on. No. It is a response to the fact that we here at Camps TV, we here on Guyanese Morning Time, have brought to the eyes and ears of the Guyanese people and the world at large that the PPP, the Home Affairs Minister, and all of them are misusing state assets. And dishonesty is at the heart of that press release. Immediately after we discussed it on the program, the instructions were, do not discuss alignment on the police radio sets. Because when you discuss anything on the police radio set, guess what? Everybody in here shot of the radio set will hear the transmission. And they don't want that. Use telephones. Those were the instructions. Right? The police, as I like to say, police and thief.
100% wildcrafted sea moss from nature by natives. Why pay more? So by association, he is now saying the mole Roysdale Ford is a PPP mole. That's what he called a mole.